For as long as I can remember, I have always loved to travel. I love the feeling of getting out of my normal routine. My time in England and Scotland was quite the experience. We spent two weeks in a few cities in the UK, and I feel like I learned so much while there. This was not my first time out of the country, however. In 2019, I traveled with my church on a mission trip to Kenya. That experience opened my eyes to just how different others lived in certain parts of the world. Now, this experience made me realize where I see myself in that world and who I want to be. I feel that I learned a lot about myself on this trip. I learned how I interact with new groups of people, I learned how to use the tube and bus systems. I also learned about some cool rocks. I learned that you didn't always have to be surrounded by people to have fun. I learned that a 20 minute walk wasn't really that far, and I wish that where I lived was more walkable. I feel like I came back to America with ideas on how I can make living here better. Unfortunately, I feel like none of these hopes will come to fruition. Before embarking on this trip, I felt comfortable with British culture. I knew about the different lingo, like saying lift instead of elevator, or that you wait in a queue instead of a line. Humor, tradition, and good manners are all characteristics most associated with British culture, and I have to agree with that. Everyone I met while abroad were friendly and willing to share about their experiences. I feel that most people in America are more individualistic and don't care about the people around them. While abroad, it seemed like the local people looked out for each other and were more community involved. I wish we had this cultural aspect in America, and I feel like experiencing it while abroad felt like a breath of fresh air. Another important aspect of the UK is all the history it possesses. My documentary group focused on how the things that we view as old in the US are viewed as more modern in the UK. For most of the people we interviewed, they mentioned that for them to view the building as old, it would have had to have been built somewhere between the 1200s and the 1500s. To me, I can't even comprehend what life was really like back then. However, while walking through Edinburgh, I was able to walk through streets that were older than the country I live in. One of these streets was Candlemakers Row. This street in Edinburgh is where all the candle makers would operate. Another fact about this street is that the smell of all the candles would be so strong at times that the residents tried to stop the trade. A second famous street is Victoria Street. It was built in the mid-1800s and was apparently an inspiration for Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter series. Another thing that interested me was the damage that World War II, particularly the Blitz, had on buildings there. On some buildings you could see the dents where the bombs would have hit, and even tell where some destroyed buildings would have stood. I love that they kept some of those marks to remember this tragedy and how it shaped the country as a whole. Other than architecture, I remember being drawn to the landscape as well. I remember looking out into the rolling hills of the countryside and thinking about who has been walking that land for hundreds, if not thousands of years. My experience on this trip was honestly life-changing. I feel so privileged and honored to know that I got to travel with such an amazing group and learn so much about a part of the world that I've only ever heard about through the media.